What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video, back with an update, but also trying to talk about how to optimize your fat loss journey. If you want to lose some fat, what's the best strategy for you? And I can't emphasize that enough for you because everyone will respond differently. People talk about intermittent fasting. That's relevant if you find for yourself you have problems curbing your hunger and you want to have an eating window so you're less likely to overeat or snack throughout the day. When it comes to things like how low should your deficit or how high your deficit should be, depends one on your goal, depends upon how long you wanna be losing fat, a variety of different variables. Recently, I've been experimenting, I'm just doing three weeks, I did my three weeks actually, I lost 7.4 pounds in three weeks, which is quite good. That's honestly on the upper end of the spectrum because I was on a decent deficit. I was eating, as I told you guys, 2,100 calories. I'll be updating you guys with a physique photo, side by side, a comparison. But essentially, I lost that weight. I was in a pretty big deficit. But what I plan on doing as a new experiment in light of some research, Eric Helms, who I'll have on the channel, talking about sustainable development for physique athletes or just people in general that want to have sustained fat loss. It's basically a three on, one off, or three on, two off, or three on, three off. It's a, a, whatever you decide to do, you basically are in a fat loss phase for several weeks and then you take a break. Doesn't mean you're eating in surplus, eat at maintenance. I've been eating at maintenance this past week and my weight has not budged at all. So I haven't increased my total weight. I haven't gained three pounds back or anything like that. But you're taking a diet break and this can be relevant for strength athletes and that's primarily who I'm talking to not in this video but a lot of the people that watch this channel myself included we like to lift heavy and if you want to optimize lifting heavy you need calories those that have a spendthrift metabolism so individuals that need to be in a pretty aggressive deficit in order to lose weight it's probably going to be harder to maintain your strength if you only need and everyone's different but there's a difference between losing weight and trying to keep your strength at 2,000 calories, and if you could get away eating 3,000 calories. Just think about the micronutrients, right? Trying to get all your micronutrients in if you're eating 2,000 calories. So that's a big difference. But when I say you have to find the fat loss strategy that works well for you, in the past what I've recommended and what I still think will apply for most people is the slow and steady approach. And that's why on Kaizen we have the strength and fat loss program where the goal is to lose about a pound of fat a week. So if I did that over these last three weeks, I only would have lost three pounds. And this is very good for people that don't have a meet coming up, that don't have a timeline where summer's approaching. Guess what, summer's already here and I'm, spoiler, getting cooked out here in the sun. You can see the sweat, HD, 4K. I don't get a tan, I actually just get more pale, the more sun that I get. But slow and steady if you don't have a goal if you don't have a timeline where you need to achieve something it makes sense because you're not in as as a aggressive of a deficit which means that you'll probably have more energy more energy in the gym and you always want to make sure your gym performance stays high but that's what's unique and what's intriguing about the uh, you know diet breaks or taking a three on one off approach you're in a pretty aggressive deficit for a short period of time and so your energy by the third week it starts to dip but then you take a week off, you're eating at maintenance, so you actually feel better, and then you go back on, or maybe you take two weeks off at maintenance, and so you should feel a little bit better while you're eating at maintenance, and then you can resume that fat loss phase while maintaining that strength. Because if you're just in that aggressive deficit or moderate deficit for four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, your energy would just continue to dip. And the overall approach, I would say, is you need to keep your energy levels in the gym up. You need to stay rock hard in a funky place. You could quote me on that. But what I'm experimenting with right now, and it's working out great, I actually have some footage. Um, why I am going to take two weeks of maintenance is because actually my bench took a slight hit after three weeks, 2,100 calories, uh, you know, seven and a half pounds down. I was supposed to do 320 pounds for doubles. I did the previous week 310 for triples, felt awesome. That was my final week of being in a deficit when I was doing the 320 for doubles and it did not move well at all. But now I've been eating once again a maintenance. Tomorrow, you're going to see, I'll post on my Instagram, I'll be doing 330 pounds instead for doubles and it will feel a lot better. So sustainable fat loss is what you want and the approach that works right for you. If you have a spend thrift metabolism, if you're someone that needs to be in an aggressive deficit in order to lose weight, consider what I'm doing. 
which is you go on a diet or you uh, go on a deficit for three weeks and then you take one to two weeks off. And if you take a look over 20 weeks, you will still lose an appreciable amount of fat. Or if you rather go the slow and steady approach, which also works, you could go just 16 weeks in a 400 calorie deficit and see how that treats you. But you want to do the strategy that works right for you and you shouldn't as always, when we talk about guru worshiping, it worked for this guy, therefore I should do this. Like maybe you're completely different. Maybe your experience level, maybe uh, your exercise intensity, your genetics, there's a lot of different variables. So make it easy on yourself, make adherence a no-brainer, and make it so that your performance in the gym always remains high. Anyways, I gotta get out of here, okay? I'm sweating up a storm. Severin, what's the temperature out here right now? You're like, it's actually four degrees Celsius, but you're just sweating up a storm. You see the sweat? I'm putting in the work outside, not in the gym. HD, as I said before, y'all said get a tan. Guess what? I'm working on it. It's not working on me. I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be back with more content this week. I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. They're trying to ruin our flow. They can't even though. They're trying Severin, but they can't. You see this? You see this truck? Haters. That's actually the supply. You know of what? Coming in. Eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables. Eat your fucking vegetables.